This movie contains disturbing content, violent content, unsettling imagery, light jump scares, and some loud noises. Viewer discretion advised. <laughs> Oh shit! I'm so out of here. Man, I'm a little pissed off right now. Roger and Nancy have bothered at me for the last time. First, they picked on me when I was scared of a thunderstorm, then they tried to get me suspended from school by impersonating me. They still continued to bother me even outside of school by throwing out my chicken that me and Sarah had for my 17th birthday picnic, then they harassed me, Sarah, and my family at Walmart, and had the nerve to literally beat me up and steal the toys that were for the kindergarten. Just damn, I just wish there was some way I could get back at both of them for their entitlement and their harassment towards me. Hi Alan, why do you look so upset? Is there something bothering you? Oh, hey mom, it's nothing, I'm just furious about Roger and Nancy. Ugh, you mean those two kids who keep bullying you because of your behavior? Yeah, I know, I'm sick of those two bothering you and Sarah, and even bothering the rest of the family as well. Me too, I just wish there was some way I could get back at them and teach them a strict lesson about bullying me. But what could I possibly do? Wait, I just came with a perfect idea. Really? What do you have in mind, son? Well, do you remember last October, when Dave, his friends, and family pranked Karen and her friends by showing them lost episodes of their favorite baby shows? Um, of course I remember that, that prank was pretty funny. But what are you getting at? Well, since Dave Johnson was able to scare Karen and her friends with some lost media, I was thinking we should do the same to Roger and Nancy. Maybe it will teach them a lesson about bullying and harassing me. That has to be the most amazing idea ever. Usually as a mother, I would be against something like that, but I'm honestly sick and tired of those two troublemakers bullying you over something that's not fully your fault. So, you can count me in son. So, Alan, where exactly are you going to find these lost episodes you speak of? Oh, well, that's actually something I'm going to ask Dave about. If he was able to find some VHS tapes of lost episodes of baby shows, then maybe he could help me get some lost episodes too. Oh, well, I can't argue with that. If you need to talk with Dave, I can give you a ride to the Johnson's house. I appreciate that mom, but I think I'll be taking my bike there this time. All right. I guess I could trust you to go out on your own since you're almost an adult. Just stay on the sidewalk and don't talk to strangers. Yes, ma'am. I already know the drill, and I'll be right back. Hey, mom. Oh, hey, Tony. What's up? Well, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation with Alan. He says that he has some kind of scare prank plan with Roger and Nancy. Oh, well... Alan said that he has a plan to get back at Roger and Nancy for harassing him and his friend all the time. And spoiler alert, it's a plan similar to the prank that Dave, his family, and his friends pulled on Karen and her friends last year in October. Is that so? Well, I can't wait to see what plan Alan has for those two entitled bullies. I couldn't agree more Tony. In fact, Alan is going over to the Johnson's house to ask him about the lost media that Dave was able to get his hands on. Really? Well, we'll just have to wait and see until Alan gets home and see what kind of prank he'll play out with Roger and Nancy. I'm sorry, Alan, but I don't think I can help you with that. What? Why not Dave? Well, you see, a friend of them was named Kelly along with her father, got the lost media from a black market in Guanama City. After we'd pranked Karen and her friends with them, we had to burn them to avoid liability. I wouldn't want you or your family to face liability.
Or, come on Dave, I promise you that I won't get myself or my family into any form of liability. Please just help me find a place that keeps lost episodes. Well, if you insist, I may not be able to help you find whatever lost media you're looking for. But I think Kelly and her dad Kevin might be able to. In fact, why don't I give you their address, so that you can go find them yourself. Thank you so much Dave, I really appreciate this, I'll make sure to go look for Kelly's house, you have a nice day dude. No problem Alan, you have a nice day as well. And I wish you and your family the best of luck with your prank. Alright, time to go find Kevin's house and ask him and his daughter for help. Wait sir, I'm right here behind you. Oh, hey there young girl. I take it you must be Kelly McCadden on. Yes, that's me, and I take it you must be Alan. Um, yes, but how exactly did you know I was here? Well, I was on my way over to Dave's house and then I saw you coming by on your motorcycle. I hid in a tree, and I couldn't help but overhear your conversation with Dave about lost media. That's right. And I heard you were the one that could help me find some lost media, isn't that right? Well, yes. But it may seem a little risky. So, I'll have to ask you to come closer, for I have a secret to tell you. Have you ever heard of the dark web? Uh, yes, the dark side of the internet where criminal activity is mostly done online, but what about it? Well, there's a website that sells all kinds of bootlegged media, including lost episodes and video games. Really? Yes, but I have to warn you. The dark web is not for everyone, and it's a very dangerous place. So be sure that you don't run into any criminal activity while on the site. No worries, Kelly. As soon as I find the dark web and buy the lost media, I promise I'll be sure to avoid any liability. Oh, good. Which means you'll get rid of whatever media you bought and downloaded? Of course, and I'll make sure that nobody else gets their hands on them. Well, in that case, Alan, I hope you have a nice day, and good luck with your prank on Roger and Nancy. You have a nice day as well, and thank you for your help, Kelly. I should probably head back to my house and tell Daddy about those two troublemakers. Oh, welcome back, Ellen. So, were you able to find anything about the lost media that Dave and his family used? Unfortunately, no I wasn't. But I did run into one of Dave's friends whose dad is a cop. Her name was Kelly McCannon. Kelly McCarenson? She's the daughter of Karen McCarenson, the girl who was at the court hearing last year. Yes, Tony, that's her. Anyways, Kelly told me that there's a website on the dark web that we can go to and find some lost media. Um, Alan, did you just say, dark web? Alan, you do realize that the dark web is never meant to be visited, right? Yes, Tony, I'm well aware that the dark web is forbidden to the public. But I promised Dave that I would make sure that we would not be facing any liability. If Dave and his family would be able to prevent such a thing, then maybe we can too. Well, if it's the only way we'll be getting any of those lost episodes, then I suppose I won't stop you from going on that dangerous website. All right, Mom. Uh, do you mind if I borrow your debit card? I suppose so, Ellen. Just try not to spend too much, and please be careful where you search on the internet. Yes, Mom. I already know the drill. And I'm going to be staying right behind you, bro, just to keep an eye on you, and make sure we don't get into any trouble. Alright, Tony. Thanks for being here for me. Now let's head up to my room, and get to the dark web. I hope that whatever money comes off of my debit card, it turns out to be worth it. Alright Tony, let's see if we can find a stark web.
Hmm? I don't see anything here that can help me find the dark web. Wait, Alan. I see a link that could probably help us. Oh yeah, I see it too, Tony. Maybe this can help us get to the dark web. Alright, let's read this. Oh, now I see. So, it would seem as though we would need some kind of protective network to help us access the dark web. And it looks like the name of the network is Tor. And I think I see the link to download it too. Oh, you're right, I see it too. So, this must be the Tor network download. Let's download it. Alright, now we just wait until the app downloads, which may take a while. Alright, Tor is finally downloaded, now let's open it. goodness, Kelly was right, the dark web looks so scary. Alan, it's going to be okay bro, let's just download the lost episodes we need and close this web out. Alright, but which one of these websites could possibly have lost episodes? Try the lostarchives.org website in the middle. Okay. Oh, so this is where all the lost media is being sold. But there's so many to choose from, I have no idea which ones to pick. Hey Alan, try adding Squiward Suicide and Dead Bart to the shopping cart. Those look like good choices. Oh, now I see. I feel like we can use a couple more than that. Let's scroll down and see if there are any more items. Oh, I see more of them. And I think Little Bear in the Big Red Book and Cow and Chicken series finale look interesting, especially since I used to watch both of these shows when I was little. I agree bro, let's add both of them to the cart and then check out. Alright, now I will use mom's credit card, buy these lost episodes and download them. Well, that's a strange message. But at least the media is fully downloaded. So, what's next in our big plan bro? The next part would be that I will have to transfer the downloaded media to my phone. Um, is that even possible? It is Tony, when you got something like this. Wow! What is that? This cord does many functions with your phone. Not just charging, but it also transfers any media from one device to another. I like to call this, the all-purpose cord. Wow Alan, for once, you actually did some smart thinking. Well of course, I did. As a person with autism, even I tend to think outside the box. Anyways, let's hook up my phone, and get all the four of my media transferred. Oh, hey boys, so did you two manage to buy those lost episodes? We sure did mom. And here is your credit card back. Thank you son. So, what's our next step for your big prank Alan? 
Well, first I'm going to call Sarah real quick and tell her about the prank we'll be pulling on Roger and Nancy. I'm sure she'll be interested in helping us out with this. I think I'm also going to call someone who might have a few things that could help us with this prank. Of course, we could always use more help, so you both do whatever you need to do. Hey Sarah, are you there? Yeah, Alan, I'm here. How are you doing today? I'm doing just fine, Sarah. How about me? I'm doing just fine, pal. Is there something I can help you with, Alan? Well, yeah, but I have to tell you something. Are you aware of the dark web? Um, I think so, but what about it? Well, don't freak out, but I actually went on the dark web itself and bought some lost episodes of popular shows. What? Alan, you know you should never go on the dark web. You know that a website like that is used for criminal activity. Yes, I'm well aware of the circumstances, but say, I did this for good reason. You know how Roger and Nancy have been picking on me, especially when they beat me up at Walmart. Well, I bought these lost episodes because I wanted to do a scare prank on them, hopefully to teach them a lesson. Kind of like how Dave and his family did with Karen and her friends. Wow. Alan, that has to be the craziest idea I've ever heard. But I like your idea, so how can I help with that? Well, I was thinking I could pretend that I committed suicide, but then come back and get him on a zombie. So, I was thinking maybe you could play the role as my dead slave, which I possess and turn you into. That doesn't sound like a bad idea, Alan. I could definitely work with that. I'm glad you think so, because I'm going to ask my mom if she could take me to Party City, so that maybe I could find a zombie costume for you and me. How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds great. Maybe you could ask your mother if I could come with you guys. Of course, Sarah, we could always use some more help after all. Though, Alan, you should be very careful of what you look up on the internet, since there's a lot of things on there that we still can't understand. Don't worry about it, Sarah. After our prank is over, I will delete the media I downloaded onto my phone, and I will cut off any access to the dark web permanently. Oh, that's a relief. Anyways, I'll see you real soon, Alan. Same to you, Sarah. Nice talking with you. So, Alan, it looks like we're going to Party City? Yes, because we need to see if the place has any zombie costumes for when me and Sarah scare Roger and Nancy. It turns out Sarah wants to join in on our prank too. I figured that she would. Well, I suppose we could go to Party City, as soon as Tony finishes with his phone call. Already done, Mom. I just got off the phone with Taurus Henderson. He said that he has some special effects that we can borrow. He was able to make Dave prank on Karen scary, so maybe we can too. Oh, that sounds like a great idea, Tony. All right then, let's all get into the car. We will be picking up Sarah, going to Party City, and then we will stop by Tori's house to get those special effects that Tony is talking about. Um, Tony, you do know Tori's address, right? Yup, I sure do, Mom. I have it written down on this paper. Oh, good. Looks like we're all ready. Let's get going in the car. I've got to say, thank you for coming with us and helping us with Alan's scare prank, Sarah. Of course, Mrs. Peterson, I'm always willing to help Alan with anything he needs. Though Mrs. Peterson, your son should definitely be careful of what he sees on the internet. I know Sarah, like my son said, as soon as we are done with our prank on those two troublemakers, he will get rid of the lost media he downloaded on his phone, so that we don't face any liability. Yes, Sarah. It's not like my brother is going to constantly visit the dark web often. It's only this one time, and then he'll make sure that he never goes on that nightmarish site again. Well, okay, then, I know for a fact that Alan would never do any real criminal activity. Alright, everyone, we're here. Let's go inside and get what we need. Alright, kids. Now that we're here at Party City, what do we need to get? 
Mom, there it is, the zombie makeup for Sarah and I, as well as the zombie gloves. Let's get them. Of course, son, this is your party after all. All right, is there anything else, or will that be all? Wait, Mom, I think I see something that I want. Really? What do you see, Tony? This skull mask would go great with my cultist uniform that Brian made for me when we pranked Tom and Joey. And there's even a voice modulator that could definitely disguise my voice. What do you say, Mom? Can we also get these? Of course, Tony. We could definitely use a Grim Reaper to deliver some encrypted messages, kind of like how Kelly did when Dave and his new friends pranked Karen and the Troublemakers. All right, everyone, now that we have everything we need, let's head on to the checkout and head home to prepare for Alan's prank, which we can pull tomorrow. So, is this all you're getting, miss? Yes. All right, miss. Just let me see your card and I'll check these out for you. Your credit card has been approved. You have a nice day, miss, and thank you for shopping at Party City. All right, kids, let's get into the car and head on over to Tori's house to get those special effects. All right, we got the stuff we need for me and Sarah's costumes. I believe the next thing we have to do is visit this, Taurus guy's house for those special. And I think I see his house right up ahead. Oh, I take it you must Tony Peterson, the person who called me. Yup, that's me sir, and I'm here for those special effects that you used for you prank on Karen and her friends. Of course, Tony, just wait here and let me grab them for you. Here you go Tony, these are all the special effects you need for your brother's scare prank. Thank you so much Taurus, I really appreciate this. No problem Tony, just be sure you return those after you're done with them. I will, and you have a nice day, sir. Man, I can't wait to see how Alan's prank turns out. Alright, we got the special effects from Taurus. I think we can go home now. Wait, I think I see Roger's house over there. Um, Alan, how exactly do you know if that's their house? Because I see both of his parents outside along with him. Mom, can you please stop the car? I need to know when the perfect time is for when we can send the lost episodes to him. Alright, Roger, your father and I are heading to our honeymoon for the weekend, and we will be back by Monday in the afternoon. So we can trust you to look after the house while we're gone. Okay, Mom. Thank you for reminding me. It'll be nice to get some alone time for myself. However, son, because you are still grounded, you will not do any of the following things while me and your mother are gone. Number one, you will not leave the house under any circumstances. Number two, because you've been wasting your money on your bank account, you will not be allowed to buy anything online or even order food from Uber Eats. Lastly, number three, because of what you did to Alan back at Walmart, you will not, I repeat not invite Nancy over at our house, especially since she is a troublemaker. Do you understand, Roger? Um, um, um. Yes, loud and clear father. Good, because your grounding time will be extended if you disobey us. Anyways. We'll see you in a few days, son, and we love you.
Well, I might as well go inside the house and enjoy some time for myself. Tony, did you catch what they were all saying? Yeah, Alan. Roger's mom told him that she and her husband are going to be on a honeymoon, and Roger is going to be left home alone for a few days. Oh, well that's great news. That should give us more than enough time to prepare for our prank. Well, in that case, let's all go home and get this prank started. <laughs> Alright, now that we got everything, we can start preparing for our prank. Alright Alan, we're ready to see your zombie outfit, come out when you're ready. I'm already here mom. <gasps> what? Oh my god Alan, you look absolutely terrifying. Yeah bro, I bet Roger will be horrified at that. I suppose I'll take that as a compliment. After all, Sarah here did get creative with the zombie makeup. Yeah. I tried to make Alan as terrifying as possible. So, how are things working on your end? Well, we've found out that Torres gave us some drones, one for the filming, and a few others for special effects. Not only that, but Tony has been practicing with his new Grim Reaper costume. Yeah, and another thing. Torres even gave me a voice modulator to disguise my voice when I do my part as the Grim Reaper. Do you wanna see, bro? Sure, Tony. Hello, Alan. I want to play a game. Don't worry, I'll be sure you make it out alive. Okay, I think I'm a little terrified now. Yeah, totally. That modulator really is advanced. I know, Sarah. Technology sure does evolve over time. Anyway, do you have any other ideas you need to put into action, Alan? Well, there is still one thing I've left in mind. Oh my goodness, Alan, is that really you? What happened to you? No, Alan, what are you doing? Get away from me! So Tony, how was that? That was some pretty good acting for both of you. Though Alan, maybe tonight I will have to edit your videos, just to make them more horrific. Yeah, I would definitely appreciate that. Well, now that we have all the clips that Alan need for his prank, we should probably call it a day, go in the house, and have dinner. Yeah, I agree mom, we've been doing this all day. Say, Sarah, do you think you can stay over for the night? I can put your zombie makeup tomorrow morning so that we'll be ready for our prank. Sure, that may not be a bad Alan, though I'll have to let my parents know about that. Alright everyone, let's head back to the house, and we'll be ready for our prank tomorrow. Man, I am so bored. I can't even leave the house because I am still grounded for what I did to Alan back at Walmart. What should I even do? 
Maybe I'll watch some family die until I fall asleep. Well, that was a decent night. Though I really need to figure out how the rest of my weekend without my parents will go. After I have breakfast. All right, sir, it's finally time. Yeah. Alan, it's time we head on over to Roger's house and get our prank started. You do have Roger's phone number, right? I sure do, sir. I copied it all off of the phone book. Oh, that's good. Well, let's go to your mother and get ready for this prank. Alright, Alan and Sarah, are you two ready to go over to Roger's house and get this prank started? You bet, Mom. I already got Sarah's zombie costume already. I see, and you did a pretty good job, Alan. I couldn't agree more. Mrs. Peterson, and I got to your son, he really got creative with my makeup. Of course, I couldn't be more ready. I have my skeleton mask, my voice modulator, and the box of drones in the car. I'm ready to get this party started. Alright then, it looks like we're all ready to get this prank started. Let's get into the car and head over to Roger's house. Yeah, this game is so fun. Okay, now I am bored. I just wish there was something fun I could do with my life. Huh slash someone is texting me. I wonder who it is. Wow, I guess my day just got better. Someone actually gave me some TV shows for free. Wow, this day just got better. Someone not only gave me free TV shows, but they are also lost episodes that never aired on TV. Maybe I should invite Nancy over and see if she will watch them with me. I'll be sure my parents won't find out she was here. Hello? Hey Nancy, it's Roger. Oh, hey Roger, what's up? You're not going to believe what happened. Really? What is it, Roger? Well, someone who had texted me actually gave me some free TV shows. 
And what makes it better is that he or she said that these are lost episodes that never aired on TV. Wow, really? That has to be the most exciting news I've heard. Though it feels kind of weird. But still mostly awesome. Yeah, it is. In fact, how would you like to come over to my place and watch these never-before-seen episodes? Wow, that sounds like a great idea, Roger, especially since my parents are staying in a hotel for a few days to celebrate their wedding anniversary. But won't your parents get mad if they found out I was over at your house, since it's possible they don't want me over? Oh, that won't be a problem. You can just come over, and I'll make sure my parents will never find out you were here. Oh, okay, I suppose I can't argue with that plan. In that case, I'll see you soon, Roger. Right back at you, Nancy. And I'm looking forward to doing this with you. Wow, this is going to be the best day ever. I better go downstairs and prepare some snacks. Well, it looks like Roger fell for my text I sent him. Yeah, and I bet he's already called Nancy, and she will be on her way to the house. Oh, and speak of the devil, there she goes now. All right, Tony, it's about time you bring out the drones and get this video started. Already ahead of you, Mom. So glad you could make it here, Nancy. Of course, Roger, anytime. So, let's see those lost episodes you were telling me about. Of course. But first, I'm going to send them over to my computer. And while I do that, we can order some Burger King from Uber Eats. All right, now to send the videos over here to my computer and download them. Um, Roger, what exactly is that thing? Oh, this? This is just a USB port that can transfer whatever media from any device to another, such as a computer. Oh, well that's quite the technology. I wonder what company made that sort of thing anyways. Some technology and communications company named Go on E-Tech Corporations. Well, anyways, let's get these episodes transferred. All right, now that the episodes are completely downloaded on my computer, I say we should order something from Uber Eats before we watch them. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea, Roger. I know, I agree. So, what place are you thinking I should order from? Um, I feel like having Wendy's, I could really use a Baconator and large fries. Okay, sure. I could use some Wendy's myself. Alright, I'll order the food right now. Alright, I just ordered the food. Man, this is going to be the most exciting day of my life. I know right. This is sure going to be way better than eating my parents' crappy leftovers. Agreed, and it'll be way better than Alan watching his stupid baby shows in the big boy playpen at school. Oh yeah, and what about Sarah? She always coddles Alan whenever he cries, like she is his mother. I know right, what a bitch. Ha 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 ha. Huh? Someone is calling me, I wonder who? Hello, Roger. Um, hello? Who exactly are you? That my friend is beyond your comprehension. Let's just say that I am the symbol of death itself. And I would like to be the first to welcome you and your friend to the game.
Wait, what? Don't tell me who I think you are. And what game are you talking about? That's right. You're talking to the Grim Reaper himself. And you, my friend, have cursed yourself and your friend into a game that has only one way out. Um, what exactly do you mean by that? Well, you weren't very nice to Alan Peterson. He has now killed himself due to depression. And now he has risen from the dead and is coming to get both you and Nancy. Okay, I think you're lying. You should know that that's not even possible. Oh, am I? Why don't you check your messages? Hey, I found a video. Hello, if you're watching this, then I want to let you know that I've had enough of this cruel world. I tried my best to cope with this world's cruelty, but alas, I couldn't find a way, so here are my final words. Goodbye, forever. Oh my god, did Alan just shoot himself? Wait Nancy, there's more. Oh my god, Alan turned into a zombie, and he's coming after us. This is my worst nightmare. Wait. So, now you believe me. Alan is hunting both you and Nancy, and he will not stop until he sees you both dead on the ground. The only way for you to survive this game would be to watch the lost media that was sent to you. Oh, so you want to challenge us to a game? Well then, bring it on. Me and my friend are ready for anything. Ha 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 Well then, I wish you and Nancy the best of luck. Um, Roger, do you really think he's serious about the whole game thing? Of course, I don't believe this, Nancy. Hell, I bet that video was fake and someone was just playing a joke on us. You know what, you're probably right, Roger. We're not letting some creep keep us from watching these pieces of media. Yeah, you're right. We're not going to let this get us down. Oh, I think our food is here. I'll go get the door. All right, now that we have our food, let's start watching these lost episodes. Whoa, there are just so many choices here. How about we start with this sponge of episode? Red Mist, this looks promising. you two idiots, why now I have a concert I need to practice tonight. Oops, sorry Squidward. Yeah, we're sorry Squidward. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Come on, Patrick, let's go play somewhere else. Right behind you, SpongeBob. Ah, no 
people could be knocking at my door this time. Hey, who are you? And what are you doing at my house? Who am I is not important. Listen, you got to hear what I need to say, because there's something coming. Whatever it is you're trying to sell to me, I'm not buying. I'll go away and get off of my property. I said I'm not interested. The Red Mist is coming. Please save me. Guess what was that all about? What is that Red Mist? Whatever. It is probably just nonsense. What's really important is practicing for my concert. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Squidward Tentacles.
Well, uh, it's just an episode. It wasn't that scary at all, right, Nancy? Nancy? Way. Oh my god, that was absolutely terrifying. Why would Squidward kill himself over a failed concert? This is not the SpongeBob we know and love. Calm down, Nancy. Remember that it's not real. I'm right here by your side. There's nothing to be afraid of. I know. Thank you, Roger. I needed that. Is it okay if I use your bathroom? I need to relax for a minute. Of course, Nancy. In the meantime, I'll take both of our trays and put them in the sink. Oh, I see Nancy is heading to the bathroom. I should probably cover one of the drone cameras and activate the illusion as soon as she's done. Ah, uh, I think I feel a little relaxed now. I should go back to Roger and... Whoa, where did that red smoke come from? Squid, Squidward, what are you doing here? How did you even get in here? Way. Way. Whoa, 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 Nancy. What's the matter? Oh my god, Roger! I, 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 I saw Squidward in the bathroom. Huh? What? You saw Squidward in the bathroom? But that's not possible. He's not even real. But, Roger, I swear I saw him. Just come with me. Um, Nancy, are you sure you saw Squidward in here? Because I don't see him in here. Huh? What? No, I swear, Roger, I saw him right there. Nancy, calm down. I'm sure it was just your mind playing tricks on you. Let's just head back to my room and watch another one of those episodes. Huh? I'm getting another phone call. Hello, Roger. Are you enjoying the game? Oh no, not you again. You're the guy from earlier. That's right. I hope you're enjoying the game. Because we're just getting started. Now you listen. My friend here got scared out of the bathroom because of that decoy you sent. Was it you that created that Squidward decoy? As a matter of fact, yes, I did. Why? Did it scare you too? Listen here, whoever you are, I don't know what kind of gag you're trying to pull. But you better not be messing with us, or we will call the police on you for this. They cannot help you. You will never get yourself out of justice. After all, you two only have three episodes left before Alan comes on over to your place. Ha 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 ha. So, Roger, that guy from earlier called us again? Yes. And I have a feeling whoever this guy is, I bet he's the one who created that fake Squidward you saw in the bathroom. What? Oh, 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 I can't believe he would do that. He's so going to pay for scaring me. Wait, I just got another message.
Oh, it looks like it's another video. Um, Roger, you don't think Alan is heading here, do you? Um, I don't think so. He doesn't even know where we live. Well, I really hope you're right. Hey, don't worry, Nancy. Why don't we watch another one of those lost episodes? Maybe it will cheer you up. Well, okay. I just hope it's not scary. Dead Bart, huh? Never seen this episode before. I'm sure there's nothing scary about it. Let's watch. Uh, say, honey. Mmm, what is it, Marge? I think maybe we could all use a vacation. Well, I suppose a vacation sounds good right about now. What do you say, kids? How about a little vacation? Oh, yeah. Vacation sounds good. Yeah? I could definitely use some fun in my life right about now. Wow, what are we all waiting for? Let's all get packing! Bart, I don't think you should be doing that. <laughs> Why not, Lisa? Well, duh, because you might break the window. <laughs> Whatever, why don't you mind your own business, sis? Hey, Mom and Dad, Bart is fooling around again. Bart, seriously! Listen to your sister and behave yourself! I agree with your father. Now stop messing around and sit back down right now. You guys are all overreacting. Look, nothing bad is going to win. Oh no, I broke the window. Bye, Bye no! no. Oh, Bart, you might have been a bit, a bit of a pain, but you're still the best son a father could ever ask for. I agree, honey. I've always loved Bart with all of my heart. Why did it have to be him? Oh, Bart, you might have been a pain in the ass, but you're still the only brother me and Maggie ever had. Please, let him back, Bart. <laughs> 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 well, I guess that lost episode wasn't as scary as the SpongeBob one, wouldn't you say, Nancy? Well, I guess it was more depressing than scary. But Bart's death scene really caught me off guard, especially when he got sucked out of the plane window. Yeah, I agree. 
that death scene was pretty disturbing, especially for a Simpsons episode. Um, Roger, is it okay if I go downstairs and grab a snack from the kitchen? Of course, Nancy. Go ahead and help yourself. Oh, I see Nancy is heading to the kitchen. This is going to be good. What the, Bart? What's he doing here? And why does he look like that? Oh, hello. Do you want to play with me? Ha 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 I need to hurry and get out of here. Nancy, is that you? Hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> Nancy, what's wrong? It's okay, I'm here now. Nancy, what happened? Are you all right? Well, kind of, but I, 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 I. I saw a dead version of Bart Simpson in the kitchen. What? Are you serious right now? Yes, I'm serious. Just go into the kitchen. I bet he ran back right now. Seriously? There's nothing here again. No! That can't be. I saw him right there. I swear it. Nancy, it's like I said, you're probably just seeing things. But I'm not. I saw him right in front of my face, and he chased me. Whoa, calm down, Nancy. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just trying to help you. <sighs> Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Believe me or don't believe me, at least I'm safe now. Yeah, that's a good thing to look at. Well, anyways, let's grab some snacks and get back to my room. Ha 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 ha. Man, this is getting so funny. Roger might not be scared yet, but I can see Nancy is getting scared to death. Yeah, I agree Alan, I'm more surprised that Nancy is also throwing tantrums, and yet she and Roger criticize you for acting childish. I couldn't agree more Sarah, and I see this prank of yours is going well so far Alan. That's right mom. Now Sarah, once I watch the third lost episode, it'll now be your time to shine. Yeah, you got it Alan. In fact, I should probably step out of the car and get ready for my role. Wait, Sarah, you're going to need this stuff. Um, Alan, what exactly is that stuff? Oh, this is just some fake blood I got from Dave. I even have some latoning that you can drug one of them with. Then you can put this fake blood on one of them too. Wow, that sounds like a great idea. After all, we do need to make this prank as horrific as possible. Well, I guess I'll be taking those with me. I'm excited to see how this prank will end. Oh no, that better not be who I think it is. Well, Roger, I see you and Nancy are doing well at this game. Now just you listen here. I don't know what kind of sick trick you're trying to pull, but you're really creeping my friend out. So, if you know what's good for you, I suggest you leave us alone, or else we will. You may not speak to me that way, brah. I thought I mentioned before that once the game has started it cannot be finished. And besides, you're both getting close to finishing the game anyways. Oh, just you wait and see you so-called jigsaw reject. When we finish this so-called game of yours, you will be facing serious consequences. Oh, we'll just have to see now, will we?
Ha 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 That guy better wait until this so-called game is over, because we will definitely make him pay for this. Yeah, you're goddamn right, Nancy. Well, anyways, let's have our snacks and watch another one of these lost episodes. Little Bear and the Big Red Book, huh? This one sounds interesting. Well, it has been quite a while since I've seen that show Little Bear, so I guess a little nostalgia wouldn't hurt. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Nancy. I wonder if my dad would like to go fishing with me tomorrow. I should go in the house and ask. Hey, Dad, I was wondering if we could go fishing tomorrow. Huh? That was strange. What exactly is up with Dad? He usually isn't like that. Come to think of it, what is this book he was reading? I guess I better find out for myself. All right, little bear, I hope you're all tucked in and comfortable for the night. Well, I'm going to turn off the lights now. Sweet dreams, my baby bear. My bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Oh, bring my bonnie back to me. <laughs> Please bring back my bonnie. 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 Um, okay, I think I'm officially scared. Nancy, what did you think? <laughs> oh my god, Roger, that was so terrifying to watch. What were these people thinking when they made this episode? Hey, I haven't been checking my phone until now. And I see another video has been sent to me. Oh my goodness, Alan, is that really you? What happened to you? 
No, Alan, what are you doing? Get away from me! Way. Oh my goodness! Did Alan just kill Sarah? This is a nightmare! I'm freaking out! Calm down, Nancy. I mean, it's not like zombie Alan and his now zombie friend are coming here. <sighs> Roger, I think I need to borrow a blanket. Well, all right, Nancy. Let's go to the closet in the hallway and get you a blanket. All right, Nancy, here is your blanket. Um, Nancy, what's wrong? Is everything okay? Um, 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 um. Roger, what is that black mist over there? Huh? Um, did we just see what I thought we saw? Yes, we did. I told you there were monsters here. Well, whatever it was, it's gone now. So let's just get back in my room. Wait, Roger. I think I see someone downstairs. Huh? Wait, who is that? That looks like Sarah, but what is she doing in my house? I'm not sure, Roger, but I think I'm going to go down and confront her. Nancy, wait! Um, excuse me, Sarah, but what are you doing here, and how did you even get inside? Sarah, is everything okay? Oh my god, Roger! I think Nancy is a zombie! Let's run! Roger! Help me! Stop me! Nancy! Help Roger! She's got my leg! Nancy! Quick! Take my hand. Nancy, oh no, please be okay. Nancy, Nancy. <gasps> no, no, Nancy, I, I, I could have saved you. I feel so useless. Please come back, Nancy. <laughs> oh no! Please don't let it be who I think it is again. Um, um, hello? What did I tell you, Roger? You did not listen to me. I told you that you and your friend were in a game, yet you ignored me. And now your friend is dead thanks to you. Okay, okay, I believe you now. I'm sorry for not listening, whoever you are. Is there any way I can stop this game? Well, you are down to one lost episode left, so I suggest you watch it. Though you better hurry, because Alan is getting closer to your house. Ha 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 ha. Well, I guess I have no choice but to continue with this game. Don't worry, Nancy. I promise that your death won't be in vain.
Alright mom, when Roger watches the last lost episode, it'll be time for the grand finale. Alright Alan, I will notify your brother and Sarah about this. Well, I better watch this last lost episode, and fast. Cow and Chicken series finale? This ought to be good, especially since I'd like to know how the series ends. I'm scared chicken. Me too. We're lucky we didn't turn into whatever those disturbing monsters are called yet. But mom and dad have those- <laughs> What was that? Crap. Let's get out of here. That was close. I don't think we have much of a chance of living any longer. We'll either get eaten by the zombies or get infected by the virus that's turning people into zombies. Hey cow, get over here. I found a newspaper. Well, what does it say? It says, zombie apocalypse has come. A virus found in a small village in India spread throughout Asia and Europe and has recently spread into North and South America at an alarming rate. Wow, this sounds really messed up. Right cow, cow. Run. Oh no, we ran out of ammo! Yes, I'm afraid that is how we're officially in hell. 
Oh, hello cow and chicken, I'm glad you're here. Now I will have you suffer with all the others in the fire. That's it. I can't take it anymore. I'm deleting all of these lost episodes. Phew. I think I won this game. I'm sure Zombie Allen is no longer coming after me now. What? What the hell is going on? Hey, what gives? I watched all of the episodes I won the game. Oh no, I'm afraid you did not win anything. So, you'd better look out the front window, because it's time you pay for your actions, Roger. I better get downstairs quick. What the, where's Nancy? I could have sworn she was right here. Um, I think somebody is knocking on the window. I wonder who it is. Just calm down, Roger. All the fear is making you see things. It's not real. It's not real. Oh no, I'm so out of here. What's the matter? Don't you want to play? No. I need to get into my room and hide. Wait. Oh no, not more smoke. Oh my god, Nancy was right. This house really is haunted. What the? What? What's going on? Why am I all tied up? Wait, what's going on? What are you all doing in my house? Silence Roger, you know very well why we're here. Today is your Judgment Day. What? Judgment Day? But I beat the game. Correction, you were actually out of time before you could finish the last lost episode. Look, whatever it is you're going to do to me, don't do it. I have so much to live for. Oh, well, maybe you should have thought of that before you and Nancy started to pick on and torment Alan. I clearly warned you that if you failed the game, 
you'd be paying the price. Okay, okay. I admit, I was wrong to do all those horrible things to Alan. Just please let me go, and I'll be a better person by tomorrow. I'll never bully anyone else. Sorry, but you're not getting out of this. You pushed Alan to suicide, and now you shall pay the price. Besides, the judgment of the mortal chosen by the Grim Reapers is non-negotiable and cannot be overturned. <laughs> All right, Alan, now go and feast on that savory dish. No, 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 no. All of you stay away from me. Why? No, no, no. All of you get me now. Please stop. Oh my god, Roger, you should have seen your face. Yeah, we got you so good. What? What exactly is going on here? Why did all the monsters disappear all of a sudden? What? Alan and Sarah, you two are still alive? Of course we are, I never killed myself. I was simply faking my suicide using a fake gun. Yeah, and I only faked being attacked. Both me and Alan were just wearing some zombie makeup. But what about all the monster that have been invading my house? Oh, I can answer that question for you. Surprise, Roger. What, Tony? You were in on this too? You're damn right I was and all those monsters you've been seeing. They were all just holographic projects being shown through Taurus drones, which were scattered throughout your house. What's wrong, Roger? Are you schizophrenic or something? And what about Nancy? I saw that you two killed her. Oh, relax, moron. We did no such thing. Yeah, your friend is still alive though she did get a bit of a concussion when I dragged her down the stairs. But while she was unconscious, I put some fake blood on her that Alan got from Dave. And shortly after you were finished with the last episode, we picked up Nancy and put her in the closet. Which, she should be waking up real soon. So, you're all telling me that this was all a huge prank the whole time? Yes. And this whole time, everything that I was seeing around my house was never real at all. You, that's right. Oh, I can't believe you all did this to me. Why, just why? Well, probably because big time bullies like you and Nancy need to be taught a lesson about disrespecting the disabled. Yeah, Tony is right. Oh, and I should probably release you from those ropes. Hope you're not too uncomfortable with your wet spot. You gross. Look what you all did to me. My pants are wet. Because you all made me piss myself. And it was kind of hilarious too. I seriously can't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with my brother. And it's going to be funnier once we post this on social media. Wait, you mean? That's right, Roger. I've been recording the whole thing all along.
using the recording drone, of course. Absolutely not. You guys are not posting this anywhere. And you, Alan, you are grounded, grounded forever. And I will be coming to your house and destroying your phone. Oh, stop it, Roger. You know very well that those threats don't work at all. And Tony has a right point about you. You and Nancy seriously need to learn to respect others around you. That's right, Sarah. And you're not going to mess with my shit ever. As a matter of fact, my family and I are going to make sure that you and Nancy never bother us again. Well, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to leave a comment and subscribe for more. Wow, that had to be the most hilarious prank ever pulled off. Yeah, I agree bro, but now let's go return these drones to Taurus, then head home and upload your video. Oh, you three are not going anywhere. You three scared both of us to death, gave me a concussion on the stairs, and stuffed me into the closet. And worst of all, you made me piss my pants and pranked us so hard. So guess what? You three are coming back in and cleaning up the mess you three made. No, absolutely not. Yeah, we did what we came here to do, so why don't you two beat it? No, either you three get back in the house and clean up, or we will be beating all of your asses. Never! Do you two want me and Sarah to put our zombie costumes back on? Yeah, and do you two want me to bust out the drones again? Yeah, and while we're at it, should we put on one of those lost episodes again? No. All right, fine, you all can leave. Yeah, just please, please don't make us live through that nightmare again, we beg of you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now if you'll excuse us, we're all going home, so good day to both of you. Um, Roger, will you do me a favor, though it might sound weird? Of course, Nancy. What is it? Is it okay if I stay over for the night? I just don't feel comfortable staying at home by myself anymore. Of course, you can, Nancy. You can even sleep with me if you want. Just don't tell anybody. Thanks, Roger. You're the best. Well, we might as well go back inside the house and clean up whatever mess our intruders made. <laughs> Man, this sucks. That stupid prank video that Alan posted has gotten a lot of views, and now people are making fun of me and Nancy and think we're laughing stocks. I just don't know how this day could get any worse. Roger, get down here right now. There's someone here who would like to speak with you. Oh no, it's my mom. I hope I'm not in trouble. Um, Mom and Dad, why do you both look so angry? And who is this stranger in our house? My name is Phoenix Wright. And boy do I have a special surprise for you, kid. What? No, what even is this nonsense? What? This has to be some kind of joke. Why am I on a restraining order? Well, I think you should know very well why you have that restraining order. Now we need to talk with Mr. Wright. Mr. and Mrs. Nicholson, from now on, your son is strictly forbidden from going anywhere near Alan and his family. Should he violate that restraining order, he will be arrested for criminal harassment and sent to juvenile detention until he turns 18, and he will be sent to prison for three years. Got it? You got it, Mr. Wright. 
we will make sure that our son never goes anywhere near Alan, his family, or Sarah ever again. Good, because he will be on that restraining order until further notice, until he starts showing others some respect. Now, I bid you all good day. Oh, and one more thing Roger. You. Just. Not. Served. No, this is not fair. Now I can't get revenge on Alan for what he did to me and Nancy. Well, you absolutely deserve this, and you also deserve that prank Alan gave you and Nancy. I agree with your mother, especially since you deliberately disobeyed us when we told you not to invite Nancy over. Wait, how exactly did you? Well, we saw on the doorbell cam that Nancy was right at our door. And we also saw an Uber Eats delivery man at the door too. Um, 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 mom and dad, I can explain. You know what Roger, save it. We told you two days ago not to invite Nancy over or order any food from Uber. But you did not listen to us. You know what this means? Your grounded time will be extended, which mean no more hanging out with Nancy, your card will be confiscated, and we will make sure you never bother Alan or his family ever again. Now go to your room right now. Why? What? What even is this? Why do I have a restraining order? You should know why, Nancy. Now, we need to talk with Mr. Helvis here. Mr. and Mrs. Loomis, from now on, your daughter is not allowed anywhere between 10 to 20 feet of Alan, his family, or even Sarah. If she violates that restraining order, the police will be notified, and she will be arrested for criminal harassment. Got it? You got it, Mr. Helvis. We will make sure our daughter never bullies anyone else ever again. Good, I hope so because your daughter is on that restraining order until further notice, until she learns to respect others, especially those who are disabled. Anyways, I bid you all good day. Way. Nancy, stop crying. You brought this on yourself. But mom, Alan was the one who pulled that ultimate prank on me and Roger. Well, we don't care what Alan or his family did, he probably did that prank because of what you and Roger have been doing to him over the past months, especially when you beat Alan up at Walmart. Oh, and speaking of Roger, we got a call from his parents saying that you went over to his house while we were staying at a hotel for our wedding anniversary. Um, mom and dad, I can explain. No, we don't want to hear it, we specifically said no hanging out with Roger, but did you listen to us? No. No you didn't. Since you disobeyed us, your grounding will be extended, and this means, absolutely no hanging out with Roger again, and we will make sure that you never bother Alan, his family, or even Sarah ever again. Now go upstairs to your room now and we will get you when dinner is ready. Why? And stop slamming doors right now. This is so awesome. Not only did we give Roger and Nancy what they deserve, but they're both now on a restraining order. I know, Alan. I guess this means we won't have to worry about Roger and Nancy bothering us again. Yeah, Mom. Maybe we should do something to celebrate. Um, Mrs. Peterson, someone is at the door. I'll go get it. Ah, Tony Peterson, I presume? Um, yes, that's me. But who are you? Your voice kind of sounds familiar. I figured you wouldn't recognize me. It's me, the Phantom of Death. What? No way. 
Are you seriously the same person who was at the court hearing with Karen and her friends last year? Yup, that's me, kid. Wow, it sure is an honor to meet you. Though, there's something different about you. What happened to your old costume? I'll tell you in a minute. Right now, I need to know if your family is home. Um, yes they are. In fact, they're in the living room. Come on in. Uh, Tony, who is this stranger, and what is he doing in our house? Well, Mom, do you remember that Phantom of Death hero who was at the court hearing with Karen and her friends last year? Well, this is him. What? Really? That's really the Phantom of Death? He looks a little unrecognizable. I agree, Mom. I thought he looked terrifying the first time he appeared in court, but now he doesn't look so terrifying. So, this is really the Phantom of Death you guys have been telling me about? Doesn't really match the description you all gave me. Yeah, Sarah. Lest I remember, this guy had a black jacket, blue jeans, gray gloves, and a silver white mask. Yeah, it's a long story. Let's just say I've been on vacation while you guys were doing whatever. Then a bunch of crazy stuff happened, and I lost my previous mask. But I now have a new mask that gives me new powers and a new heroic costume to go with it. As it turns out, I also learned something new about my previous mask. Really? And what exactly did you learn about a phantom? That's a story I'd rather save for another time, Alan. It's not important right now. What's important is that the GoAnimate City Police sent me here for questioning about the lost episodes. Oh, alright. In that case, let's all take a seat and hear what our hero has to say. Alright, now that we're all seated, feel free to ask us whatever you want, Phantom. Well, let's start off with this. Did you guys happen to be in possession of some lost media? Well, yes, we admit it. We did have some lost episodes of shows, but we deleted them as soon as our prank was over. Well, hopefully you all won't face any liability. Anyways, next question. How exactly did you guys gain access to the dark web? Well, to tell you the truth, Phantom, we used a program called Tor which allowed us to access the dark web safely. Alright, as long as you guys didn't do anything dangerous. But you did delete the program, right? Um, yes we did. We deleted it as soon as we got the lost episodes. Alright then, good, because you all would have faced liability. Well... Here's the big question. The lost episodes. Where did you guys get them? We actually got the lost episodes from the Westside Corp. Lost Archives. Org. Wait. Did you just say lostarchives.org? Well, yeah. Wait, you know the Westside Phantom? As a matter of fact, I do. And last I remember, that website was shut down by the government years ago. What? But that doesn't make any sense. How was the website still active if it was shut down years ago? Who even owns the website? A criminal named Reggie Filmers. It all goes back to the year 1991. Reggie Filmers was a big-time pirate and a thief. He had a whole history of pirating and stealing media from TV companies, movie studios, even video game companies were not safe from his thieving antics. With every piece of lost media Reggie got his hands on, he was willing to sell it to make a quick buck. As a result of Reggie's crimes, many people were falsely arrested, 
that many companies were sued for something that wasn't their fault. This went on for years, until 2001, where the people had a breaking point, and they formed an angry mob at Reggie's home. Just as the citizens were about to kill Reggie, he had a dirty trick up his sleeve. Reggie filled his room with gasoline, lit a match, and performed the final blow. Reggie sacrificed himself and his life's work just to kill those who would stand up to him. Luckily, the authorities arrived just as soon as the fire started. After the fire was put out, the police ran an investigation. Reggie was found dead, and there were no survivors that made it out of the disaster. However, the police were able to collect the remaining evidence, while most of it was burned in the flames. The case was then closed. The Lost Archives website was then shut down by the government. Or so we thought, now that you guys discovered that it's still active. Oh my god, I can't believe that story. So this Reggie Filmers guy was pulling the strings this whole time? Especially when Dave and his family used those lost media to scare Karen and her friends. I agree, Mom. That has to be one of the most disturbing stories I've ever heard. This man did all those things and yet he committed suicide. Yeah, and the fact that the website is still active even though it should be shut down just brings chills down my spine. Um, out of curiosity, Phantom of Death, do the police know about this? Yes, they do. And as a matter of fact, they've been investigating this case for quite some time now, and yet they still haven't found anything. Well, I'm heading back to work, but you all take care and stay safe now. Though, let me give you guys a warning. Stay away from the dark web. Yeah, we know. And thanks for the talk, Phantom. You take care as well. And we wish you the best of luck protecting Go Animate City. Thanks for that, Julie. Well, anyways, farewell. Well, now that we had our talk with our hero, what should we do to celebrate? I was thinking, how about we all go out to eat for dinner? That doesn't sound like a bad idea, Alan. Yeah, I could really use a meal from a restaurant right about now. Alright then, let's all get into the car and decide which restaurant we want to go to.
Well, so everything is going exactly to plan. I just hope I get more customers, and then I will soon take over the internet and all of cyberspace. Ha, 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 ha.